The family of four-year-old Musa Muktir Ahmed were at Dubai courts yesterday to hear the verdict against the man who had raped and murdered their son in a local mosque. We are very happy with the judgment. While we can never get our son back, I am happy that I have got justice. I am poor, but I have been treated as an equal by the law. Although the death penalty is the worst punishment Dubai courts could have granted, it will do little to ease the family's pain. Musa wasn't the only child that they had lost because of the murder. Eid is a very happy day for every Muslim, but for us, it was the worst day possible. My wife still cries every day. The pain of a mother is indescribable. My wife was two months pregnant at that time and had a miscarriage because of the grief. After the horror that befell them November 27th, Musa's family has tried hard to pick up the pieces of their life and carry on. His two siblings, Mustafa and Miriam, succeed him. My wife, when Mustafa goes to school, my wife stands at the gate till he reaches the bus and then calls the school throughout the day to check if he is fine. When he returns, we make sure someone is there to get him. Here in their old home, the spirit of Musa lingered, making it difficult for the family to heal. Soon they decided to move to this new house down the road. We couldn't sleep in that house. We would pray all night. The kids would keep asking us about Musa and when he was coming back. And we told them that he is with Allah now. This road marks the scene of the crime where two witnesses saw Al Rashidi pick up Musa and drag him, kicking and screaming, into this mosque's washroom. The witnesses assumed Musa was Al Rashidi's child, simply unhappy about attending services. Musa's father still attends services at the very mosque where he was murdered. When I go to the mosque, I feel so sad to think that that evil man did this to my son in the house of God. I prayed there in the same mosque to Allah to give me justice and now I've got it. Sadly, the death of al-Rashidi will not bring Musa back to life and his siblings will have only these photos to remember their brother by. Carmel Dimitri, City 7 News.